Oh, hey you. What up? Welcome to my channel. Welcome back. I'm Mariam. And in today's video, I am doing something different. I am going to be reviewing a new collab from Pixie X Hello Kitty. Yes, if you are someone who loves Hello Kitty and if you love Pixie, then this is the review for you. I am going to be talking about all of these products. There's lots of them. I'm gonna be slapping them onto my face to create this very effortless but glamorous cat eye glowy look because the name of the collection is Bow Meets Glow. So I really definitely wanted to amp up the glow and put together something fun. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Remember to subscribe if you aren't already, hit that notification bell so you can watch all of my Wednesdays and Sundays videos. And now let's get into this video. Pixie X Hello Kitty new collab. Are we here for it or not? Let's find out. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but whenever I see Hello Kitty, something about her just makes me feel very giddy, just very in touch with my childhood, very in touch with my playful side. I really want to create like a fun, whimsical look. So I don't know, I just feel a little uplifted right now just looking at all these products in front of me. All right, let's go over everything in this Pixie X Hello Kitty collection which by the way is called bow meets glow and bow meaning this kind of bow, not bow my cat, but also bow my cat. Cause we are talking about hello kitty. First thing that we have in this collection is a for apples multivitamin infusion sheet mask. So in this package here, there are three sheet masks. This is $10. I think that's a really great deal. It's got vitamin A, vitamin C, apple extract. These are biodegradable sheet masks that leverage the power of vitamin A found in apples, which we and Hello Kitty adore. Basically, this is a perfect mask to use as a quick pre makeup fix. I already have my foundation on because I'm actually reviewing this foundation, which just happens to be this one right here. So stick around for that. But yeah, I'll definitely try this out after I remove my makeup and I'll let you guys know what I think about it. But generally speaking, I really love Pixie skincare. Actually, some of their products are amongst my favorites and I love, love, love their sheet masks. I have a good feeling about this. And for 10 bucks for three masks, I feel like that's fair price. Next thing we have in this collection is another item in the skincare category and it's called their Anywhere Patches. Basically, these are eye patches, I believe, although they're referring to them as multi-use patches for anywhere. So perhaps these are face patches. Okay, hold on. Oh, okay. So this is different from Pixie's typical under eye patches. I will show you a close up of a close up of what this looks like. I just spilled some of this good old juice onto my table. So it looks like these patches are shaped in half moons and also some elliptical shapes. And literally you can use them anywhere, not just on your under eye, but all over your face. So that's great. Hold on, I'm gonna clean up my mess real quick. Also comes with a little nice scooper here. I like to keep my patches in my fridge. And actually I go through pixie patches very quickly. I have tons of them. I really like them for the under eye. I like them in the morning. First thing in the morning as I'm having my coffee, basically they just help to depuff my face, my under eye, and just helps to awaken me even further. All right. So these don't seem to have an ingredients list on the packaging, but it did have it on the outer carton, which I threw away. So I will pop up the ingredients right here. This is what they are. And this is what you can expect. $24 for this. So those are the first two items and they are in the skincare category. The next items are all in the makeup category. Well, actually there's one hybrid product and it's so cute. Look at the packaging on this. It's got the Hello Kitty head. And basically this is Pixie's signature makeup fixing mist with rose water, green tea, and all over setting mist, prolongs makeup wear, keeps it from moving, melting, or settling into lines or pores. Comforts, preserves, increases hydration, and balances skin for a fresh face. This is water-based. It does contain some alcohol, niacinamide, but it does help lock your makeup in place. I will use this at the end. $15. Next up, we have two glowy powder blushes. $18 each, two shades. Unfortunately, one of mine came crushed, so I will get a replacement. But this formula I absolutely love from Pixie because 
It is super cushiony, but it has this really beautiful natural luminosity and it just looks incredible on the face. It's not as glowy as say a highlighter is, but it's not matte either. So it's like a hybrid type of product that I think is super genius and I'm a big fan. And I'm obsessed with a little embossed Hello Kitty. Moving on to the Chrome Glow Palette. This one is $20 and it looks like it's a face palette of blushes and glowy highlighter powders. Some of them can probably be used as bronzing powders, blushing powders. I'm definitely gonna swatch these and call in the swatch model to help out. Next up, we've got the eyeshadow palette and I think this might be the product that I am most excited about just because these textures. In this camera, you can't really see how beautifully multifaceted some of these pigments are, but I will show you a close up and you can clearly see that this purple here, it's not like a flat purple. It's so interesting. There's so many different colors in here that the naked eye doesn't even catch. So I'm really excited about this. I feel like it's a neutral, but a glamorous, dressed up palette, especially for Pixie, but it makes sense because it's in collab with Hello Kitty. $22 for this. Last but not least, we've got the Lip Tone, which is a pH reactive tint for the lips, $8 for this. And last but not least, we've got the Silky Eye Pen for $12. I love the formula on these Pixie eye pens. They are so, so smooth, so rich, and so pigmented, so easy to work with. And this one is in a new shade called London Fog. Love it. All right, so now that we've got all the deets on everything, let's call in the swatch model. We haven't seen or heard from him in a minute. So I think he uh, deserves to make an appearance. Look at that sexy arm, nice and clean. We missed you, Swatch Model. Yay. Yes. Yeah, I need a little vitamin D though, pale. <laughs> yeah. Wow. All right, so we are going to swatch these two palettes. We've got the blush palette and we've got the eyeshadow palette. Which one do you want to swatch first? Well, hello, kitty. Well, hello. Uh, eyeshadow palette. Eyeshadow palette. All right, yeah. let's read the names on the back. Let's do it. We have snow. Snow. That's cute. That's nice. That's nice, that went out so nice. It's a beautiful satiny type of white. Not too shimmery, just like a nice satin finish. I'm gonna give it a double dip. Beautiful. Wow. Next color is... Whitney. Try again. I can't see. I know you have to put it far away because I'm becoming farsighted <laughs> in my youth. Whimsy. It was close to Whitney. It was. Whimsy Houston. <laughs> I hate you. Okay, here's Whimsy Houston. <laughs> Whimsy Houston. I hope it's good. Ooh, Ooh, that's a cute color. This is very, very dainty. I think this is our first time conducting pixie swatches on the channel. That's really nice. Look how even. Yeah. Oh, not the first time. No, it is the first time for an eyeshadow palette, for sure. Oh, I like the glitter in there, too. Yeah, look at that. It's like a very reflective, almost like a topper shade. All right, next one is. Bright side? Bright side. You saw that before I did. Oh. Well, that's cute. Okay. Well, I'm liking the color so far. Yeah, I know. This is what I'm the most excited about, this palette. I yeah, just feel color. like it's so happy, yeah. but glam at the same yeah, time, yeah, you know? It's like a upscale. I get that. Yeah, but the real important part is how much? $22. $22. $22. It's not bad. Next one is Daydreamer. There is Dry Dreamer. Daydreamer. $22. $22. That's, $22. That's really good. Oh, this one is so, That's so pretty. Cute. Oh, I love this one. It's like a flesh tone, but with sparkles. That's really pretty. No it's drag, gorgeous, by the way. It's a gorgeous shade. I'm not even seeing too much fall off. Nothing. It's actually like super, super smooth. Impressive. I knew I was going to like these. I just had a feeling. I like the color. It's watching nice. Things. I know. All right, this next one is... Uh, gravy. Sorry. Gravenite. Granite. I can't see. Ay, ay, ay. Swatch model. What are we going to do with you? Blame it on the packaging. Yeah. All right, here we go. Granite. Oh, I was kind of expecting this one to pack more punch. Mmm. All right, let's double dip. Not everything has to be pigmented, Miriam. It is pretty, but I was kind of hoping for more from this one. I don't know. Well, I don't know. I still like how well the lo the colors are working together. That's true. That's I still a good like point. That. Yeah, I mean, sometimes I get palettes and they're just like, you know, you could tell that there was a change of mood, like right between. That's a good point. There's no All change right. of mood in between. What's this cranberry? <laughs> What's this cranberry? All right, this has got to be good. Okay, come on, up cranberry. All color, come on, cranberry, give it come to us. Through twenty-two. Pretty that good. That's good. Yeah, I think you're right about the mood. It, that's a mood, man. 
you know, maybe it's not the most pigmented palette in the world, but not everything has to have that kind of pigment, you know? Bro, it's $22 and the colors are smart and well put together. Yeah. And I'm not seeing like crazy fall off. Mocha. Oh, this feels so silky. Okay. Wow, that's nice. That's beautiful. I wouldn't call it a mocha though. I feel like this is much more of a cinnamon. <laughs> No. <laughs> then a mocha? I don't know. I don't really see I think mocha. mocha. fine. You get yeah. mocha vibes? Well, I think you're looking at the monitor. Look. I don't get mocha vibes. I get mocha. I see mocha. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I think it's really nice. Okay. This one? Let's do this. Mauve. Mauve. You know, I never heard that word before, mauve, until you started doing makeup videos. I kid you not. It's not like, you know, I got mauve jeans. <laughs> I never heard, like, you know, gonna get those mauve Jordans. <laughs> <laughs> They have mauve Jordans. They do? Okay. I'm sure. Uh, Got Jordans in every color. Every color now. I like mauve. Mauve's mauve good. for me. Mauve for you. <laughs> Keep it mauve. <laughs> and this last one is... Friends Forever. Friends Forever. Oh, that is cute. Yeah, my two best friends, Liz and Larissa. They used to love Hello Kitty. They were obsessed. I was more into the Power Rangers, though. Wow. Yeah. Friends for. Ever. That's a pretty color. All right, here we go. Here is the range. Hello, Kitty. Hello, Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Tiger. <laughs> Let's do the blush palette now. The first one is Mimi. Oh, I'm doing this with my left hand. It's kind of weird. And these are what? These, these are, are blushes, blushes and highlighters. highlighters. That is nice. That All is right. Nice. All right, know. Mimi. Mimi came for the truth. Ticked pink. Tickled pink. <laughs> Ticked I was like, pink. ticked off pink. Pink is mad. Oh my god. Okay. Let's go with the ticked off pink. <sighs> Tickled pink. Tickled pink, sorry. Oh, it's beautiful. It's pretty. Gorgeous. How much? This is $20. <laughs> Keep about the money with me. Next. Super cute. <laughs> Stop. You can't just say like super cute. You gotta always say it with a super cute. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know. It's just the way I always heard it. Oh, really? Super cute. Like that? Yeah, super cute. <laughs> That's that cute. 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 I love that. A little thin, but I don't know. What do you mean? They're great. Super cute. Yeah. All right, you know best. Like, these are really nice highlighters, I think. Oh, wow. They're glowing. Yeah, they're really glowing. All right, next one. Bow glow? I can't see. Bow glow. Get oh, it? Come on. Get it? Lee? Bow glow. Bow glow, like our Bowie. Bow glow. Yeah. All right, here's bow glow. That's pretty. Playful? Playful. I'm gonna give that one a double yeah, dip. Yeah, that one does the double. I feel like I didn't really swatch it right. Okay. Again, the continuity with the colors. Though. Yeah, yeah, everything is very distinctive. Yeah. I like it. Next, Next one. Kauai. 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 Kauai is a special place. No, no this is Kauai, the way that they say cute in Japanese. Oh, not like Kauai, like the Kauai and out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they were referring to Kauai, Hawaii. You sure? Because that looks like a sunset. It does. Maybe I'm right. Really pretty. Very pretty. Lovely luster. Lovely luster. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, this one's really nice, actually. Pretty. Wow. Nice. Yeah, it's nice. It's sweets. Sweets. Looks it's like... deeper and cooler than the second one. Mm. On the monitor and the camera, I think they look similar, but in person, I think they're different. Yeah, in person, they're definitely different. And last but not least is... is London. London, yes. yes. Your favorite place. One of my favorites, if not a favorite. That's pretty. That's gorge. Yeah, that's very liberty. Liberty. Love that. Love that. Beautiful. Beautiful swatches. Those are pretty swatches. Yeah. For 20 bucks? Are you kidding me? Yeah. It's a nice freaking face palette. That of is. Glowy blush highlighters. It's like two Starbucks. Yeah, it is like two Starbucks. Okay, those close-up swatches, definitely better than the swatches in this camera. Very, very smooth. I'm actually surprised, pleasantly surprised. Although I was a little underwhelmed with this shade here. I was kind of expecting more, especially given the fact that it's like the center shade. I just wanted it to have more pizzazz. But anyways, let's slap all this onto the face. Let's create a look. Let's have fun with it. Okay, first and foremost, I am going to add my Fenty Beauty Primer, as I do always. I kind of wish they also came out with like a really cute Hello Kitty pixie mirror just because I know it would be adorable. But since I don't have one, I'm just going to use the usual mirror that I always use, which by the way, came in Tatcha PR. People always ask me about this mirror because apparently you guys have seen it, not just on my channel, but on other channels as well. And yes, it also has my name on it. Thank you, Tatcha. But anyway, back to Pixie, back to Hello Kitty. I am going to pick up this London Fog eye pencil slash silky eye pen. I'm going to remove a cat hair from my eye. <laughs> Hello, kitty. And 
I am going to glide that across my lash line like that. This is a stunning shade. It's kind of like a gunmetal gray, but it's got some silver sparkles in it, so it's not just a flat color. Basically, I'm gonna line my entire lid space up to the crease, and that's it. That is where my crease is. So on me, this basically looks like a liner. I'm gonna wing that out slightly, because we are going for a cat eye style. And then I'm gonna go slightly past the crease in the outer corner. Oh yeah, that's hot fire. Also going to surround my inner tear duct, just like that. Basically create this very simple cat eye shape. Next thing I'm gonna do is take a small smudger brush and just diffuse the edge over here. So it's not super harsh. So that it looks a little bit blended into the skin, just like that. And then I'm gonna repeat the same thing on the other eye. Basically lining heavily from the inner corner of the lash line to the outer corner, winging it out, bringing it to my crease, and softening the edge with a smudger brush, like that. I actually do wanna make this edge a little bit more precise. So I'm gonna bring back a pinch more precision to that wing, like that. Then we're gonna surround the inner corner tear duct. And I mean that in itself is a look, but I'm not done. Gonna grab a small brush. Gonna dip into that gunmetal shade that I didn't really love upon the swatch. Thought it was a little chunky. Thought it was um, not emollient enough. Just had a little, just didn't have enough of a base for what I was expecting. But I am going to add that right on top of the liner just to seal it in place. Add a little bit of sparkle. Yeah, this is not my favorite shadow of the bunch. It does have a bit of fallout, but it's doing the job. Gonna whisk away the fallout. Thankfully, it's not sticking to my foundation. Next, I'm gonna go for this shade here. This one is called Mocha. I thought it should be called Cinnamon. <laughs> and I am going to run that through the top of that eyeshadow, like that. So essentially, I'm trying to blend this cat eye with my skin tone, but first I'm starting with a the gunmetal, then I'm going for this metallic brown shade, and then I'm gonna go for one of these flesh tone colors. If you have a deeper complexion, then you can bring this shade higher up and use this as your transition shade. And then I'm gonna grab a clean brush and just softly blur out the edge. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we are getting somewhere. I'm gonna go back to the first brush and the first shade. I'm gonna bring one of my mirrors close to me because I wanna cover up my lower lid. I don't wanna have any more fallout here, but I am gonna add a little bit more of that sparkle onto the border between the brown shade and the gunmetal shade, and just like that, and wing that out some more. And then same thing on the other eye, like that. I am grabbing one more brush. This is the one that I used to clean up the shade Mocha. I'm gonna reach into this shade right above Mocha. This one is called Daydreamer. And this one reminded me of just a flesh tone shade with some sparkles. I'm gonna add that right on top of the border of Mocha, blending that up all the way to the brow bone, just like that. And then same thing on this eye. Just kind of flicking it up and blending those harsh lines and transitions. I am feeling this, this is so cute. And for the highlight, I'm gonna grab this white shade called Snow. I'm gonna add some to my brow bone. This is just a satiny bright white shade. I just wanna highlight right there. Maybe that's a little too white. Ooh, man, I'm gonna blend that out a little bit so it's not such a stark white, you know? I'm gonna use that flesh tone shade and just smack it right on top. And then like somehow it starts to work and to make sense. Love that for me. Okay, with a clean brush, I am going to clean up that edge. You see what I'm doing? I'm literally just swiping and cleaning up underneath and it's kind of helping to create this really dramatic wing. I know I was going for Hello Kitty, but this is starting to look a little bit more euphoria <laughs> than Hello Kitty, but that's okay. It's totally fine. It looks good and we're here for that. The eyes are coming through. They are looking ferocious, definitely very kitty-like. I'm thinking I don't have anything pink going, but I definitely want to add a little bit of pink just to tie everything together because there is going to be some pink with the cheeks. So I'm thinking for the inner corner highlight, I'm gonna go for the deeper pink. This one's fun, it has some glitter particles, and I definitely want more pink here. Pink in that inner corner, surrounding that liner, and then I'll top it off with that first pink, this one here. 
Oh, that is fun. I don't know about you, but I'm pleased with myself. All right, moving on to the blushes. So the first thing I wanna do is show you this glowy powder blush in the shade Friendly Blush. This is so pretty, I almost don't want to ruin it. All right, picked up just a little bit. I'm gonna add that right on top of my cheekbone. This is so, so pretty and so dainty and so ethereal. Oh man. I forgot how good these blushes are. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you probably remember my first collab with Pixie. I was part of the original Pixie Pretties, and actually, this brush here is from that collab. But during that time, Aspen Ovard also had a collab with Pixie, and she had these incredible blushes in her collab that were the exact formula of this. That's when I fell in love with that formulation, and I actually still have her blushes because I literally stocked up, and I still use them till this day. Because the formula on these is just so nice. Like, how can you be this glowy, but also this skin perfecting. Like it's not settling into my pores, into my acne scars. And mind you, I have acne scars right here, but you're not really seeing them so much, are you? The light reflective properties in these glowy blushes are really that. They trick the eye. So good. Mm. All right, I am gonna swatch this one on my hand. This is Friendly Blush. And now I'm gonna swatch the other one that is crushed, unfortunately. This one is Sweet Glow. There's the color and here's the swatch. So pretty, I need sweet glow. The cool thing about palettes like this is that you can really sculpt your cheek and you could really add any type of glow that you want. Of course, you could also use these on the eyes if you want. For me, I think I am going to, I'm gonna play it safe today. I'm gonna dip into this pinky shade. I'm gonna use my original pixie brush. I'm gonna add a little bit more pinkiness right here. And then I'm gonna go for the much lighter shade. I'm gonna add this one very high up, almost underneath that wing. It is blinding. Oh my God, you can literally see that shining. All right, maybe that's too much, Miriam. But it is so pretty, oh my God. Now it's time to mist the face. I'm gonna test out the makeup fixing mist. Hmm. Okay, kind of wish the spray was a little bit finer. That was a little bit too much splat in your face, like splat. And now my face is like totally wet looking, but that's okay. We are gonna just let that dry. While that dries, I'm gonna move on to the lips. I'm gonna test out this lip tone. I actually already tried it in my previous video. So I am gonna go for it again. All these pH activated lip glosses always look very pink on me. And this one's no different. All right, the camera cut off, but I did apply some lashes to complete this look. And I gotta say, I am feeling very sassy, very playful. Although I might have overdone it on the blush just because I layered a little too many shades and just like a little too much illuminosity on my massive cheeks. So it's kind of like all I'm seeing right now as I'm looking at myself in my monitor, but that's okay. Cause overall, I really do like this look. It feels very glam, but kind of girly at the same time. And it's just making me feel happy. It's making me feel joyful, you know, and just carefree. And like, I just finished playing with some makeup. So I think that is exactly what this collection is all about. It's just about having fun, being girly, being glamorous, but not really putting too much effort in, kind of just playing with colors and just mixing different textures. That is the vibe that I'm getting from this Pixie X Hello Kitty collection. Overall, I will say I am a big fan of this $22 eyeshadow palette. This is the product that called out to me when I first saw the collection launch. This is the one that I really wanted to get my hands on just because I think it's so cute and I think it's very different for Pixie considering that these are slightly more dramatic colors. They're slightly more interesting textures. You know, there's a lot of shimmers in here. Actually, all of them are shimmery with the exception of this one satin shade and everything just feels more. I like that. Also, it's got a nice mirror compact lightweight packaging for $22. You can't go wrong. If you are a Pixie fan, if you are a Hello Kitty fan, this is a no brainer. This is the one product that you should totally get along with this blush, the Hello Glowy Powder Blush in the shade Friendly Blush. This one is so stunning. I kind of wish I didn't ruin my blush by adding all these other luminous colors on top. This one is a standalone. It can double as a blush or a highlighter. The formula on this is one of my faves, not just from Pixie, but from the blush category in general. It's just super unique and very, very flattering, very forgiving on the skin. This is also another nice palette for those of you who like glowy powders. But for me, I can see myself reaching for a couple of shades, but definitely not all of the shades. Otherwise, um, I can see myself turning myself into a clown. But still, for $20, 
not a bad bet. Silky Eye Pen, great formula originally, still a great formula in this new collab. I could probably live without the pH lip tone just because it always ends up looking very pinky on me. Well, I'm not really into a pink gloss per se. I will definitely test out these patches that are not just for the under eye, but for your entire face that can be used anywhere on your face. And I will also update you about these A for apples, vitamin A, vitamin C, and apple extract cheap masks. But overall, I think this is a really nice collection, not just for Pixie, but also for Hello Kitty. If you are someone who loves Hello Kitty, if you are a collector, I think you will love these items, especially this makeup fixing mist, because Come on, let's face it, this packaging is adorable and anyone can use this, whether you are into makeup or skincare or both, whether you are a kid, an adult, and it just looks so cute. All right, so those are my final scents. That is my review on the Pixie Hello Kitty Bow Meets Glow collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely a different one for me. I hope you like this look. I quite like this look, too bad I have nowhere to go, but I don't know, maybe I'll go to TikTok and do something there. I'll see you guys in my next video. Check out more videos over here, click on them, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Love and bows.